All right, how to install a step down for your lights on your bicycle. They're usually all the same. We have the main power in, the black is the ground. All the grounds are shared. We have the 12 volt out. Tells you right here, red input, yellow output, and black earth wire. So we need some connectors for your accessories. I just have these. Uh, I always put the red side on the notch and the negative is always on the other side. I have a switch here and this will be the on off switch to power for the DC converter. This is a household duty 20 amp 125 volts AC. But that, that's not an auto toggle switch for 12 volt. This is for like house lights. That's all if that's on. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna mount it up. This is for my volt, my, my voltmeter. Usually the voltmeter is on the throttle, but today I got the voltmeter mounted on the stealth bomber. So you'll see how that works out. What we're gonna do is this wire is gonna go to the controller. So when I turn the bike power on, it will, the power will go to the switch. And then I have the opportunity to turn it on or off to toggle. Let's get started. First, we have to go to the toggle switch. I usually have a solder iron. Today, I'm just going to use a flame. If it works, right? Who cares? doesn't matter on the toggle switch as long as it goes as long as there's a break in the power that's fine that's how a on off switch works it's just an interruption in the b plus line sometimes it's an interruption in the negative line but today we're doing the b plus line then i'm going to install this on the bike i'll take the camera over and we'll show you how that how that works i apologize in advance if the camera gets a little shaky when i move it over there okay now i'm going to do all the shared minus the, the negative the b b negative it's all going to be shared this goes to the charger port because you have to have something going to the battery so i'm going to share the battery charger input negative I'll show you a picture when we get over there. That's going to be the negative for the uh, multiple voltmeter that I have in there. Like if if you have the the if you have a throttle that has the voltmeter on it with the key, you don't have to do this step with uh, uh, voltmeter. See, I'm just tying everything together on the negatives here. I put red on the positive wires. You know, I like to be thrifty, so I had these connectors ready to go. So I'll just mark them so I know which, which is B plus and B negative. If you're doing thin wire, it's better to use a solder wand because uh, it gets pretty hot. It could melt right through the wire. I got pretty used to using this, so I'm not really that worried about it. I can do it quick. Flow the solder quick. That's my rap name. Flow to solder quick. No, I'm kidding, I don't rap. That would suck. It's nice to have a variety of tools necessary. Get the job done fast. Actually, it took me a good hour to prep for this. At least an hour. I had to make sure I had everything all set and ready and the bike and the battery plugged in. And this is John Stealth Bomber. This is for his headlight. He's going to appreciate what I do because uh, it's worth it. Always worth the work. Stealth Bomber restoration job it was really nice. Actually, it was just, you know, making it blue and chrome. Really, that's all it was. All right, so the yellow is going to be for the, for the lights. And I put connectors on there. Keep it clean. He can always tap into that later if he wants to add any other accessories. 
and then we put a toggle switch actually on the, the DC converter. Cause I, I, on a really hot day, if you run your lights and it's daylight, first of all, you don't have to do that. It's a waste. And uh, I've noticed that the heat can burn out your inverter. So it's better to power the inverter off or at least have the option to, is, is nice. That was a really hot day. I think it was like 105 degrees. I was riding, my headlight was on, and I noticed that night that my uh, DC inverter burned out. So I'm assuming it was from heat. No one really knows if I hit a bump, but ever since I added the toggle switch, it's been fine. Who knows, right? All right, now the hard part for me is going to be moving the camera over and showing you. Okay, I, got, I got to install this into the bike, and I'll show you how it works. Cheeky little camera. Let me set this up now. Okay, there you go. All right. Hopefully that'll work. So what we're gonna do is take this over. Black tape. I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use some tape and just tape this on just for now to hold it on there in place, I, I think. It'll be hard to do all the work while it's shaky. Okay, this is the controller wire. So when I turn the key on, this is the hot wire and that will put power to the toggle switch first. So let's wire that in. See, the toggle switch wire. All right, make sure it's off. Off position. I believe the bike's off. The power should be off. Don't want to work with live power. In case it burns something out, including the controller. Definitely don't want to have to replace the controller because we touched the B plus to the frame. Oh, so. Hey, people do it, you know, and then they call the manufacturer and say, oh, he sent me a bad controller because they messed up. No, whatever. Why it's hard to sell e bike parts because people be pulling stuff like that. It's like, don't, don't complain about the controller, just buy a new one, start fresh, and learn from your mistakes. Don't make it bad for the rest of us complaining about DLA parts when or not. Because you never ever want to touch a B plus wire to the frame or to the B negative. You never want to touch a, a red and a black wire together. You just, you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna do this, you gotta, again, you know, you gotta learn. We learn from our mistakes, right? Hopefully. Okay. Oh, so, all right, so that's, so now that's set up. So this is for the multimeter. Let's get that, that ready. So when we turn the bike on, this is the wire before the toggle switch. There's an input and an output. So this will be the, the wire that goes in. So when I turn the key, the power goes on, it's gonna to go to the voltmeter on top here. Like I said, because we opted not to have it on the throttle. I like when the voltmeter is on the throttle because it saves space, but we had a little space on the stealth bomber, so it's, that's how we did it this time. It's fine. You know, a little video it takes 10 minutes or 12 minutes. Actually, it's only going quick because like I said, I, I spent a good hour setting up, maybe longer than an hour. Had to put all the wires down to the proper size and all, it's nice. Okay, so now here's the negative that comes off the inverter, all the negative wires. We're gonna hook that up to the negative to the voltmeter. And this is gonna be looped in when we, this is the charger port. That's going to be your, your your black for the charger port. Let's see how that works. That's this one here. Uh, that both the charger port and the battery must be plugged in for this inverter to work. This way you have a, have a loop and it works. So here we'll just do this real quick. Like I said, I usually use a solder wand. Today, it's just one less thing for me to kneel on my shorts. And, 
get burned, right? Let's see. It will fold that over because it'll fit nice and won't come off. Heat shrink there. There in black tape. So it's fine, it works. It's faster than tape. Um, you know, we'll, we'll mount this up in there. Probably use some hot glue to shove it up in there some way, somehow. Nobody's gonna see it, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be pretty inside the box. It just has to work, it just has to function. Oh, here's the headlight I have too already hooked up. So that'll, that'll plug that in now, it doesn't matter, All right? I'm gonna label it too. That's the headlight. Um, that's the extra connector that I have. Here's the, the toggle. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? Okay, for shipping reasons, I'm gonna leave this off because I noticed that when the bike ships that this usually gets knocked around a little bit. So we're gonna leave this out and he just has to, when he receives the bike, we'll just have to poke it up to really do this here. Um, I'll show you, it's pretty simple. I have to poke it through and pop this on, this toggle. You know what, like I said, it's worth having. Not in the way, it's a little on off switch, okay? Um, oh, so now we gotta plug in our, our charger and it's already plugged into the battery, I'll show you, right? It might chirp, right? Oh, no, it's gonna chirp. Okay, so now, I'm gonna show you what we did now. There's the wire, it's all plugged up, right? You see the volt, voltmeter? That says test battery. You see you turn it on. There's three speed switch there. Um, oh, this is the, the brake uh, the kill switch. If you get a runaway throttle, you just hit that button and it shuts off the throttle. There's a twist throttle. The bike's running, it's on, I'm not gonna touch it. Maybe we'll turn that off for now. That should be e-brake switch. See the meter, okay? Now, the toggle switch. You see the toggle switch? It just turns the light on and off. It also activates any other accessories that you want to have on there. Nice, eh? So, um, that's that. Oh, and check this out, right? So, see what the light's on now? Watch what happens. You cannot leave your lights on. Whatever you do, you can't leave the lights on. When you turn the key on, lights go on, and the toggle switch is so you can turn the light off when it's hot, because that'll save that, that that'll save this from from getting too hot on a summer day, like we talked about. This is your your charger port wire goes to the battery, and the battery is plugged in here, right? All right, guys. There it is. Oh, you know what else we have? Let's see, hold on, let's put this down again. Forgot. We have, you can either use the key, right? Or, you can also use the key fob. You hit it twice, it goes on. You hit unlock, it goes off. That would be the uh, lightning bolt two times on. Unlock. And then if you want to set the alarm, hit the lock. And if anybody moves the bike, the alarm will go off, let's see. It takes 15 seconds to set in. Let's see. There it is, the wheel lock. Try to run down the street, it locks up. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it locks up pretty good. If somebody tries to steal that, they're probably gonna wind up on their ass. Hopefully that never happens though. Turn it off now. Turn off the alarm. Oh, it unplugged the battery. Okay, well there you go, you guys get the idea. All right, have fun, enjoy your happy building.